What's up, my friends? Hope you're enjoying your weekend. Up today, we're going to add the final piece to my Battle Camo Series playlist. I've been meaning to do this one for a while. I just never got around to it. So up today, the Nerf Battle Camo Series Battle Scout. The Nerf Battle Camo Series Battle Scout, I actually found at Walmart. The average retail price normally goes for $34.99. I actually found mine considerably cheaper during a sale that they had a while back. For that price, this is what you're going to get with your blaster. You're going to get the blaster itself, repainted stock from the MK2 Recon, a 10 round clip, as well as 10 Nerf Battle Camo Elite darts. Special features of this blaster are an end strike adapter so you can affix other different barrels, one tactical rail up on top, as well as sight lines in case you don't want to use any type of optics. It does have two tactical sling mounts, one located here and one located here. Also has an end strike stock adapter in the back, so you can change out the stock if you're not happy with this one. It has an underneath priming mechanism, which is actually quite nice. This blaster does not offer slam fire, just for the record. Moving on to blaster operation, you're simply going to take your darts, load them in the clip here in the front. You will notice that right here, there are a bunch of triangles which tell you which way that the clip enters the actual blaster. And that lines up with this little triangle right here. So you're always gonna push it in from the right hand side. Keep in mind that there is nothing to prevent you from pushing the clip way too far in. So you just need to be careful when you're loading the clip in from the right hand side the very first time to make sure you don't go too far and push past the very first dart. Now once you've got it in there my friends, you simply prime the blaster and fire the dart. And when you do prime this blaster, you need to push it all the way to the front. That's what actually pushes the clip through the blaster. So if you just simply go like that and don't push it that last quarter inch, the clip doesn't actually move. But once you do push it a little bit forward, you see how it actually shifted? So you just have to make sure you do that. See, because you want to stop right there, but you got to go that little extra quarter inch, like so. Okay, my friends, here's a quick look inside the Battle Camo Battle Scout. This is one side of the shell, and here is the other side. All right, my friends, we got storms are coming, so I'm gonna try to get this max range test and max effective range test in. Of course, we're gonna time lapse it, come back in real time, and show you the results. All right, guys, to start things off, we had three AccuFake darts, which were being fired from max distance. Uh, they didn't even make it 20 feet. Uh, those three kind of, I wouldn't say misfired, they just didn't really perform that well. Now, all of the light AccuStrike darts and the white Elite darts were fired from max effective range. The gate is 50. And as you can see, these were probably anywhere from 30 to, I'd say, 40 feet max effective range. The Dart Zone Waffle Heads, the Zuru Darts, the blue Elite Darts, and the blue AccuFakes were all fired from max range. And the biggest um, grouping of them was just under 50, so I would say 40 to 55 feet for max range. This is definitely better than the original Modulus version. You'll just have to decide whether or not this is good enough for you. So my friends, I think it's pretty clear that this one is far better than the Modulus Battle Scout when that one first came out. But is it enough for you to want to go get it? Do me a favor, share your thoughts in the comment section and let me know. And my friends, if you guys want to see more of the Battle Camo series, do me a favor. Click that card popping in the upper right hand corner of your screen. It's going to take you to the Battle Camo playlist where you can see these other cool blasters. As far as my personal final thoughts, I definitely like this version better than the green and white modulus version. Uh, do I like it enough for a $34.99 price tag? Probably not, but if you can catch this blaster on the right sale price point, I think it's definitely worth it. Keep in mind my four year old, he actually struggles with this blaster a little bit. It's not that the prime is all that hard, it's just that you actually, he struggled more on the back pull because he couldn't get it to go that last, like that last quarter inch. That's where he kind of struggled. Um, so overall, when it comes to him at four and a half, I would say this is probably not for him. 
But if you have a five or six year old, that's probably not going to be a problem for you. And the fact that the blaster doesn't shoot as hard as a lot of the other ones, since it's a little bit below elite standards, as you could tell from that chronograph test, this might be a perfect addition if you are looking for something that maybe doesn't shoot as hard. So that's going to wrap things up with my Battle Camo Battle Scout review. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys.